Shalom. All praise to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekai Akwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation, brothers, hopefully they push this word in truth and sincerity. <clears throat> Alright, this video here is just my thoughts on uh, the the new Proud Family show. Uh, it says Louder and Prouder. Okay. So, <clears throat> I actually like you know, I enjoyed the original Proud Family show, you know, back when it came out. You know, it was, you know, pretty interesting. You know, have a, uh, no, no, it was a nice little show, you know. But, uh, <laughs> of course, this one here, this one here, louder and prouder. All right. So, you think about the times that we're in right now in dealing with, uh, the alphabet lifestyle. I'll try to, Stay, you know, try not to get a strike, you know, talking about that, but it, it delves a lot into that alphabet lifestyle, okay? But so the show, you know, transcends characters, you know, it, it progresses the characters, they're a little older, um, dealing with different situations, um, new characters have come about, um, uh, new characters are especially dealing with the uh, the alphabet community have come on this thing here and they they pushing that very hard but it makes sense you know it's a disney thing and you know if you, if you know anything about them they're gonna they're gonna go hard for that alphabet stuff all right so <clears throat> got me thinking about a, a couple, few scriptures on <laughs> just the reason for that so i want to get this here this Psalms chapter 14 verse 1 the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. I'm re verbatim. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. All right. So one thing about this that you'll notice, not even just with this show, but with every show and every every show on the networks and every movies, you know, on TV or in the movie theater, whatever, you'll see that they're really trying to push the the agenda or the aspect of there is no God, okay? That there is no higher power. There is no one that you answer to. No, there is there are no consequences for your actions. All right, there there is no judgment. Okay, you can like you know just do as thou wilt. And once again, that's that is a destructive mentality, and you will die for that. Simple, you know, simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And this is a part of that agenda. They, I mean, they're pushing it hard. I'm talking about it. Even even going from not only adults, but even to your kids. Because there are even shows on uh, like Nick Jr. or uh, uh, what's that other one? Uh, Disney Jr. You know, uh, even PBS kids are addressing, you know, de you know dealing with that. So, you know, uh, they, they're, they're really pushing it hard out there. But ultimately, it's to, you know, to say that, hey, there is no God. There are no consequences. Ain't nobody going to judge me. You know, if I, you know, if, if I want to be a horse today, I, I can be a horse today. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I feel this way, however I feel, that's what it is. Okay? But, like I said, that's a way that destroys, that's a bestial mentality. All right? This Psalm chapter 111 Verse 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. And and although we know that uh, keeping the laws is not going to save you, you know, but breaking the law will get you destroyed. OK, so we, we understand that keeping the law doesn't save you. But the thing is. If you have enough wisdom to understand, you know, to understand that that it is it's about obedience. Okay, first of all, it's about obedience. And once you're obedient to the Lord and in dealing with trying to, you know, seek after his righteousness, seek after him, then he'll reveal these secrets unto you. Reveal he'll he'll give you the understanding of these scriptures. But this this is why generally when you first wake up, you start out with 
you know, keeping the dietary laws, you know, probably not, you know, not trimming your beard uh, or growing a beard, you know, like the, the simple things, the things that you can that you can try to keep, you try you keep, you know, you try to be obedient. All right. And then from there, you know, you grow in this thing. OK, but you have to have the wisdom. And this is why I pointed this out here. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. OK, so you have to fear. All right. And dealing with this here, these people do not fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshai at all. They have no fear of the Lord. And that's the problem with these people. That's why the way the world is the way it is, because there is no fear. But but check this out, though. Yahweh Shai come. Oh, he's going to put the fear in everyone. They're going to know exactly who he is and what he's about. And there won't be no questioning whether this thing is real, whether we're lying, whether we just bullshitting, whatever. It won't be no question about it then. All right, this is uh, Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Yeah, I will forbid. Yea, let let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest over, so like, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right. So whether you believe or not does not mean does not make anything in this, in these scriptures any less real. All right. So, if you believe it, hey, it's coming to pass, hey, that's good for you. If you don't believe it, it's coming to pass, hey, that's death to you. That's how simple it is. You know, the, the, you don't have to believe in this <laughs> in order for it to happen. <laughs> you don't have to believe that you have a shot coming back in the chariots in order for it to happen. It's going to happen. You don't have to believe that these nuclear missiles going to be shot off <laughs> and this place is going to be turned into a lake of fire. From sea to shine and see for it to, to be real. All right. This second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eight. And then. Uh, well, I started verse seven for the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. All right, so we 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 know it's been revealed. Matter of fact, let me go on verse eight. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of His mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of His coming. All right, so the wicked has been revealed, and that wickedness has to be done, you know, until that particular measure of wickedness is fulfilled, and then he'll be taken out of the way. All right. Because he's already working. that, He's already putting that energy out into the earth. He's already working that work. Verse 9. Even him who is coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and, and with all deceivableness and of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. All right. So, they're going to be destroyed with the brightness of his coming. And one that's pushing these things out here. Okay. And it's talking about Yahweh Shai coming in them chariots. Why? Because they believe not the truth. They did not take heed unto these scriptures. They did not fear the Lord. Okay. They did not attain unto wisdom. This second Ezra chapter 15, verse 3. I'll finish off with this one here. Uh, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, which is the unbelief of them, trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right. 
So, like I said, this show here, <laughs> I mean, they took it to the next level with, with the, you know, with the alphabet stuff. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. It's to be expected. That's what you're going to get out of every show, every, you know, every movie. Yeah, we, we in these times here. All right. But, like I said, all the unfaithful going to die in their unfaithfulness. So, you keep the faith. You keep on pushing. You keep on doing the work. All right. Don't be deceived by 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 what's out there. Don't don't even don't, don't even permit this kind of stuff. And they taking pride to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Because that you know that's one of their themes is pride. Okay, that's why I, I wanted to point out here. It says louder and prouder. All right. So they're 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 making more noise, <laughs> and they're getting more and more prouder okay they they're gaining more they have more and more pride okay so and yeah you it's evident i'm talking about this it's at least these two first two episodes that came out it's sure it's all throughout it all right but like i said these are the times that we in right now all right all right so call all you how about shimmer shy about shimmer cockle dash Hope you had a fine shallow one.